these are all three kits. The line sort of separating them right here. And then another line separating them right here. So in the center is SPS Swamp Runner. On the left hand side is the Beaver Dam Mud Runner kits. And then on the right side is the Mud Skipper kits. And their new initials are CKS. So for CLP, I'll go ahead and put the price here. For SPS, go ahead and put the price here. And for Mud Skipper, I'll put it right here. So this kit for Mud Skipper, it is the cheapest kit. From first impressions, it looks like the cheapest kit. Packaging is not good. You can only have it right-handed. You can't move the weight of the motor forwards or back. You can't adjust that. Another thing is that this angle is more severe than the other two. This is also the thinnest bracket. With SPS, I believe it's so far doing very good. Customer support was great. They were willing to help. The bracket is the smallest. There isn't going to be too severe of an angle on this, but it does have enough to clear. Um, everything comes pre-assembled. You can adjust it if need be, the weight of the motor if you want it forwards or backwards. And then I do like this, this long coupler housing. It does look fairly sturdy and strong compared to the other two. With CLP, Beaver Dam Mud Motors, they packaged it fairly good. They did have the smallest package. Uh, shipping price was still the same across the board and same with shipping time. Their kit doesn't look bad. This transom bracket looks really, really heavy. It is thick and it does weigh a lot. Their props are a little different than the other two. Um, the other two are a little bit more polished and clean, where this is more of like a faded, um, harsher looking aluminum prop. Ordering the kits online, SPS definitely was the winner there. I liked their site the most. It was the easiest to check out, add to cart, and complete the purchase. COP was not the best. I would probably put them in last for their website because it's just a lot more work to get the kit ordered. It's not just the add to cart and check out. If you want to use PayPal, you have to email them personally and then they send you an invoice. He's willing to work with you and it was a good experience, but I just like the ability to go online and order. You can, with a credit card, I believe, go just add to cart and order it. But if you want to use PayPal, you have to email him personally and get that done. So if he fixes that on his site, it will definitely be a lot better. But the site itself is a little bit too dark and it's hard to read stuff. With Mud Skipper, their site is another one that I don't like. The menu takes up half of the screen and it's just hard to navigate. You can add to cart and you can order with PayPal or a credit card. And that part works good, but just having that menu all the way down half your web page is just not good. I don't like it. All the shipping prices and times and expenses and all that were all the same across the board. They took the same amount to get here. Packaging wise, SPS was the best. They had a foam insert in their box where it was formed for these pieces and everything fit in there snug and nothing could rattle or cling around. CLP did a, I would say would come in second and did fairly good. Everything was packaged right, nothing really clanged or banged around too much. There was one loose part that would cling but it wasn't too bad. But compared to Mud Skipper, Mud Skipper was the worst. It did not leave me with a good first impression. A lot of it was just thrown in there, the box was way too big for what was in there, and everything just clanged and banged around. There's loose nuts and bolts everywhere, and there's a completely open bag. It just wasn't, wasn't a good first impression. For quality of parts, everything looks fairly good. Wing nuts, everybody's looks fine, doesn't look too cheap. Some of the paint on all the kits have chipped off just a little bit. I don't know if that's just how they come or whatnot, but it's not a big deal. I would definitely say that Mud Skipper seemed to skimp a little bit with their throttle. The other two have like a dedicated 
nice throttle and Mud Skipper Sword just did a thumb thumb lever which looks very simple and we'll see how comfortable it is when we do the water test. I would say just first impressions right off the bat just for looks. Um, it's fairly good across the board. We'll see how things go. I'm liking the looks of the S SPS kit. It looks simple and it looks like it would be effective. CLP, it looks like you have a lot of adjustment for the mounting bracket, for the motor. And then of course your first impression of this bracket is absolutely monstrous and just seems way too heavy for what we're using it for. And then Mud Skipper didn't have too good of first impressions coming out of the box, but the products don't look too bad. And we'll see how that stacks up to the others. For manuals, Swamp Runner stands out. They have their own actual like manual that's printed out, folded in a book, type of nice. Mud Skipper has just a few pages. I think two pages for instructions, maybe three pages, three pages for instructions. And all their pictures are of their old kits, not their new kits, so probably be good if they change that. With Beaver Dam, it is a thicker packet that they give you. And their images and stuff on here are also pretty crummy. You can't really, they're not too detailed, but We'll see when we get into assembly to see how well those instructions are. Each one came with their own throttle cables. Um, nothing really stands out yet about that. You watched all three videos of unboxing each one of these kits. Went over a quick summary of how the unboxing went and what I thought about it. So this is just a general overview video of uh, comparing the unboxing of these three kits. The next few videos will be a side-by-side -side comparison between the major parts of the kits. We will be comparing the transom brackets, engine base, coupler housing, props, throttle lever, handles, and the long tail shafts. This will all be a side-by-side -side comparison. Each one will have their own video, so that way you can pick and choose which videos you want to watch. They will be side-by-side -side comparing one against the other, seeing which ones are different and which ones may have a few benefits compared to the others that it stands by. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned, subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you next time at 8.30 on Saturday morning. Thanks for watching, and this is JT Gatoring.